And talking about a new report from the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, it has revealed there has been a blow when it comes to the efforts taken by the governments to cut down on greenhouse gas emissions. According to the report, the plans that were made by the governments to cut down on these emissions are not enough to avoid catastrophic global warming uh, with our planet on track to heat up between 2.1 and 2.9 degrees Celsius by the end of the century as compared to the pre-industrial times. And despite some progress in the last year, governments need to do more by 2030 to ensure that the global temperature increase is below 2 degrees Celsius and ideally closer to 1.5 degrees Celsius. If you recall, the goal to keep global temperatures at 1.5 degrees Celsius was set in the Paris Agreement back in 2015. Moreover, the report reached its conclusions by analyzing all the national climate plans, also known as Nationally Determined Contributions, or NDCs, submitted since 2015. But the question that still remains is what needs to be done to control the heating up of our planet. Climate scientists estimating that human-caused greenhouse gas emissions need to be cut down to half by the end of this decade. And in, in addition to that, by mid-century, it should be eliminated in order to keep the warming below 2 degrees Celsius by 2100. And this needs to be taken seriously as according to the latest report, from the UN Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. It has revealed that today's warming of 1.1 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels has already resulted in irreversible changes. Extreme weather events have exposed millions of people to food insecurity and malnutrition. Heat-related deaths have increased. Climate migration has also risen. Agriculture, tourism, fishing are witnessing losses. Rich countries that are most responsible for historical carbon dioxide emissions also have the most resources to adapt, while the poorer countries that have contributed little to climate change bear the brunt. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.